Now, in my opinion, the problem on the last page, the one we just did, where we had to do use the factor theorem, long division, fact, some, a little bit of factoring, thinking about factoring, and then the quadratic formula is probably the hardest one in this lesson. Uh, on this page, we have two other types of problems also related to the remainder or factor theorems. Um, and the first one says when x cubed plus kx squared plus 2kx plus 6 is divided by x plus 1, the remainder is 3. So this remainder makes me think about remainder theorem. I see the x plus 1. If I name this polynomial a function, so I'm going to call it f of x, and just write this over. If the function is divided by x plus 1, the remainder is 3. Well, that means f of negative 1, change the sign, is 3. Remember, we're just changing the sign. The remainder sign does not change. It just stays as 3. Now, this gives me enough information to start to solve this problem. It tells me that if I plug in a negative 1 for the x's, so negative 1 cubed plus k times negative 1 squared plus 2k times negative 1 plus 6, this function equals 3. Now we have a pretty simple equation to solve. It's going to end up just being a linear equation. So if I simplify, negative 1 cubed is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is 1, so this just becomes a k. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, so we have negative 2k plus 6. I'm going to come over here. Um, combining like terms on the one side, I have 3 equals 5 minus k. So I'm going to subtract 5, and I get negative k equals negative 2, divide by negative 1. So the k value equals 2. So I could plug that number in, and my function, this is not what we have to do, we're just finding k, would be x cubed plus 2x squared plus 4x when I did 2 times 2, or 2k, plus 6. And that would work, and we could check it on our calculator. Um, if we check the function at negative 1, we would indeed see that the remainder is 3. Looking at the next one, just a little different. Now we actually have it called a function, p of x. It's a little easier to think about that way. We have a k in the function, and it says that find k if x minus 2 is a factor of p of x. So if x minus 2 is a factor of p of x, that means p of positive 2 equals 0. If it's a factor, the function's value at the opposite sign is, the, is 0. So we can plug this in. We're going to plug the 2 in for the x's right, because it's p of 2. And then set the function equal to 0. Once again, once I simplify, I'm going to get a linear function. There's going to be no squares left. So I have 8 plus 4k minus 22 minus 6. Combining these numbers together, I'm going to get 0 equals 4k minus 20. So when I add 20 over, I get 20 equals 4k. Divide by 4, and I get k equals 5. So moving back over, basically x cubed plus 5x squared minus 11x minus 6 has a factor of x minus 2. Uh, the next question is kind of a backwards problem that involves polynomial long division. It says, when the function f of x is divided by x minus 1, the quotient is x squared minus 4x minus 2, and the remainder is negative 4. So we actually want to find the function. So we're trying to find if f of x is divided by x minus 1, the quotient is x squared minus 4x minus 2, and there's a remainder of negative 4. So that means that f of x is equal to this binomial times this trinomial, right? We know when we do a division problem, and we'll just go back to an example that we had recently, actually in the last lesson. When I do 20 divided by 5, I get 4 as my answer, and 5 times 4 is 20. So f of x equals x minus 1 times x squared minus 4x minus 2 and it's 4 back from that. So then I can just tack on my remainder of negative 4, and that will work out. So this wants it in standard form, which just basically means we have to simplify, which means multiply this out, and then we'll subtract 4 at the end. 
So f of x equals x cubed minus 4x squared minus 2x minus x squared plus 4x plus 2 minus 4, giving me f of x equals x cubed minus 5x squared plus 2x minus 2. The next problem is just more practice of that. It says when the function f of x is divided by 3x plus 1, the quotient is 2x squared minus 9x plus 2, and the remainder is 6. So I could set up the same type of problem, but basically what we end up doing is we end up multiplying this by this and then tacking the remainder on the end, so plus 6. So this one is going to be 3x plus 1, 2x squared minus 9x plus 2, and then plus 6. Distributing, to put it in standard form, and this is f of x just so we can write that, we get 6x squared minus 27, sorry, 6x cubed, right, 3x times 2x squared is 6x cubed, minus 27x squared plus 6x plus 2x squared minus 9x plus 2, and then tacked on plus 6. Combining like terms, we have 6x cubed, negative 27x squared plus 2x squared is negative 25x squared, 6x minus 9x is negative 3x, and then 2 plus 6 is 8. To summarize this problem, that means if we went back and we took f of x, I'm just going to write it down again here, and we divided it by 3x plus 1, we should get 2x squared minus 9x plus 2 with a remainder of 6. So just like so many things in algebra, if you go back through, if we actually did do this long division, you can check and just make sure your answer is correct.